Welcome back to the Hotbox Pizza Truck. This is Eric and we're going to make some sauce. Pretty straightforward. Uh, get your uh, San Marzano whole peeled tomatoes. And let's get them in there. And from there, it's a straightforward, easy recipe. I don't pre-cook my sauce, blend it all up, let it sit, and uh, go straight onto the pizzas. A little bit of sugar to cut the acidity. A little bit of pepper. And we've got some salt. One. Two, and then a little bit of chopped minced garlic, whatever you got. Not a lot, just a little bit for some flavor. And we're done. That's it. That easy. Grab our stick blender. Plug this bad boy in. Best $20 I've ever spent. These little blenders. They're great at the house, mashed potatoes, whatever. I'm gonna use only the low setting. And we're gonna go through and just get it all, all blended up. Now, if any of you guys enjoy nice a nice pasta at home, you should start making your own sauce. Enough with buying the pre-done stuff, because this is all it is. When, uh, when I'm making spaghetti at home, or chicken parm, or whatever it may be, if I've got leftover pizza sauce, I just take it, I'll fry up some onions, and some green peppers, and some mushrooms, and a little bit of garlic, and uh, and some extra virgin olive oil, fry that up, I'll put it in, and then I like to bake mine in the oven. So, and it's the, it's the best sauce. It's unbelievable. So you're going out, you're buying the ragu, the pre-done stuff. This is all you gotta do to make your own sauce. <coughs> Excuse me. And if you're, if you're not making pizza sauce, if you're making pasta sauce, you just leave the tomatoes a little chunkier if you'd like. But I just go through. I'm not running the, the blender the whole time. I'm just looking for chunks because I don't want it too, too thin. And that's it. That looks pretty good. So set this down. that up in a minute and that's it let me show you guys the consistency now a little chunky and that's it the sauce is done and like I said this stuff is awesome chicken parm wonderful spaghetti and meatballs wonderful I'll do uh, you know if we're going to a party and I'll make some homemade meatballs I won't add the onions and the peppers and the mushrooms in that I'll just put it just I'll use it just like this because it's a little bit sweeter that way and uh, if you're just having meatballs you know as an appetizer it's absolutely delicious or I make uh, I take the pizza dough and I roll it out and I make either pepperoni or sausage rolls um, and then I'll cook them in the oven and then cut them up into little slices. And this stuff to dip, oh my gosh, forget about it. So that's it. Sauce is easy to make. Stop buying store brand nonsense. You, what do we got? We're two minutes into a video of how to make sauce. I hope you guys enjoy. Give it a try. San, San Marzano tomatoes, a little bit of salt, 
a little bit of pepper, a little bit of sugar to cut the acidity, and uh, a tiny little bit of garlic. Hope you guys are enjoying these videos. I am. Hit the subscribe button. Um, leave some comments. Let me know what you do. Let me know what you think. Thanks, guys. We'll talk to you soon.